print from RoboPrint for desktop, go ahead and go to Robo3D.com and click on Software. Scroll down to the Desktop Software button and click on it. Then scroll down and look for RoboPrint for E3. What you'll want to do is click on the Download for Windows or Download for Mac, depending on what computer you're using. Once you download it and install it, you'll be ready to start printing. Go ahead and click Load in the software, choose your STL model, and load it into the system. You'll be able to do things like scale, rotate, or move your object. Press Print, then you can click the icon Print Slicing When Done. Go to your printer and choose Tools, choose About, and scroll to page 3 to get the IP address. Use this IP address and put it into RoboPrint so you can print directly over Wi-Fi. Your printer and your RoboPrint must be on the same Wi-Fi network. Start typing in your IP address and once completed, click Connect. You can then choose from some of the other settings like your quality, your material, your supports, and your raft. Then press OK. Once you press OK, it will ask you to save the model to your computer and then it will begin slicing and sending it to your printer. What slicing means is it's preparing your model to print. Now you'll see RoboPrint sent your model to the printer and it will begin printing. It's that simple. If you'd like to save your print to a USB and print via USB, make sure to uncheck the print when slicing done box. You can then save your model to your computer, save it onto a thumb drive, and after this is completed, you can go plug in your thumb drive into the thumb drive slot on the Robo E3, like you see here. Then go to the touch screen, tap the build icon, then click the USB in the middle. You'll see the file on your USB stick. Go ahead and press the middle icon and it will begin printing. It will also save this model to your local drive on your Robo E3 so you can print it at another time. Congratulations on using RoboPrint.